Daryl Olson here from Jackson Fishing Team. Um, got the Kraken in right here. Also what I just got is uh, the ready to install rudder kit. As you're going to probably notice for the 2015 Jackson lines on their fishing kayaks, the ones that come with, that can come with uh, a rudder system, they're going to become rudder ready, which, which means is they've already got drilled and they've got the tubes already installed where you just have to run that wiring, the cables, the, the rope, all that good stuff. So it's, the process is a lot easier for you to do. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to install that ready rudder kit on, um, on the, the Kraken and uh, we'll see how easy that goes. All right. So the first first thing you're going to need is the kit. You're going to need to get a, have a, a drill with a 3 16 drill bit. Uh, screwdrivers, one and a number three and a number four, I believe. Three eighths inch uh, socket wrench for wrench right there, socket wrench. I like to use uh, cable cutters for cutting my cables. And some uh, duct tape to uh, when you have to do some drilling here. We'll show you what that's all about. The kit comes with the instructions, so we'll just go with it from there. The all first right. thing we're going to install will be the rudder bracket with uh, two quarter by 20, maybe three eighths, half inch long uh, bolts. Now, so what we'll have to do is uh, remove the nylon nylon bolts there and you'll notice that there will be a round hole and an oval hole and that's going to go position so, so kind of like that All right, now that step is done, and what we're going to now now do is go up back up to the the deck of the Kraken, and we're going to remove the footrests that are currently installed on there. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove these foot pegs in there, and they're attached by two bolts. And they're in this case on my Kraken, they have uh, nuts behind them, so we're going to have to access those nuts. We can remove. The hatch to get to the front hatch to, to access this one here. And opening this hatch up, we can get to the back of the bolts over on this side. All right, now that we've got uh, those removed, um, we're going to take our sliders
and kind of center them so that they're equal distance on the right and left and then we're going to drill use these as our pilot holes through the other bracket so I'm just going to use some duct tape to uh, kind of hold them in place Then we'll take our drill and using this as a guide hole. All right, now that we've got that done. Now the next step is to uh, install, attach these back to the kayak. using the four new uh, 1024 one inch uh, bolts. I should mention that uh, all the hardware is replaced when you get it in the kit except for these little washers with the rubber backings. You reuse those to make sure it's all watertight. All right, let's try to do the other side.
All right. Those brackets are now installed, and uh, we'll go on to the next. All right. The next step we're going to do is we're going to uh, attach the steel cables to the to the rudders, the foot pedals. And um, for this, you'll need again a one one inch ten twenty four bolt, and then a cap nut that kind of looks like this here, so that way you're not scratching yourself up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to position where this little nub is right here is is where the cable is going to attach to on the back side like this. So we're going to take our bolt, run that through there, through the, through the loop part, and then out the back. And then we're going to tighten that up by a And then run our cable through there. Next what we'll do is we're going to run that cable through that pre-routed thing that the rudder ready part that Jackson is now providing on all the kayaks that are um, rudder available. And we'll feed that through. should come out the back end. And when it comes out that end, then we're done on this side. Well, hopefully it'll come out. And just there you go. Now we've got that side all done. Okay, now we'll try to do a little closer up that little nub there. Right. And then we'll feed this in.
All right, so now we have our cables installed. So the next step is to uh, bring the rope out back here, the release rope or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so this will be where the rope goes. So we have uh, our rope. And there's a little plastic button. And what we're going to want to do is make about a five inch loop. And we'll put the button on first. How's that? So about a five inch loop. And we're gonna tie an overhand knot. A tie an overhand knot. In there. And we'll slide that button up and we'll put another overhand knot to keep it in place. And that, that forms this part right there. And then we're going to feed the rope through this little slot. And it should come out here. If it's following the path, right? There it is. So we, now we have that, that installed. All right, now we're gonna mark this and then we'll undo the hook part and we're going to tie an overhand knot right here just before just before that okay now we're gonna we're almost there so what we're gonna do is install the rudder and we want to do is uh, remove this pin the ring on there On there, and then we'll reinstall this pin. Now we have that, that rudder in place. All right, I'm gonna do a loop knot.
and then we'll try deploying it. You might have to work this process several times till you get it just right, I guess. But I think I'm happy with that part in there. So now all we got left to do is uh, hook the cables up to the rudder system. So we'll get on with that. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to move this cover plate because the cables are going to go through here and connect into there. So there's a Allen key and two uh, Allen set screws on um, each side. And there's a washer inside here, which we have to be careful, make sure we put it back in the same position that, uh, that it's at when we take this plate off. take this plate off on this side. And that's how the washer should be. <clears throat> Next. Next we'll do is tighten this here.
Um, all right, so once we get, before we tighten that stuff down, we'll do this side. We need to tape our Okay, now we'll take our duct tape. And we're going to secure the pedals right to this forward edge. Make sure that this is centered and what we're going to do is we're going to tight, pull these tight a little bit making sure that they look somewhat centered or it's centered. And using the okay. cable cutters, just trim off what excess. And then we'll uh, replace the cover, keep the dirt and out of there.
I'm sort of I'm kind of I'm happy with uh, the length here, so cut some of that off. Use that in. All right. We'll go back in here. Seems to be good there. And that seems to work. I'm Daryl Olson from the kayak fishing team, and uh, that's how I installed uh, my C Select uh, rudder kit from Jackson on the the Kraken. I hope uh, you found it informational and and helpful for when you decide to tackle this little project yourself. We'll see you on the water.